How are you today? I'm really good. I'm really excited. I just, I love talking about Bright. So I'm like, I've seen your Twitter feed, so I could kind of tell you were getting excited. Yeah. With the card. <laughs> I'm so excited. Do you, when you first saw the script, what was your first impression? Because it's, it's like nothing I've seen before, really. I mean, yeah. in a lot of ways. It's completely original. It's, it's LA, it's gritty and it's grungy and it's like, you know, downtown, but there's elves and orcs and humans and it's 2017. So it's this great world that, um, that Max Landis has created and then David took the world and he just made it really grounded, completely real. It's like, you know, Ward's played by Will Smith and then Jacoby's played by Joel Edgerton. They're two cops and they're on patrol, they're in downtown LA, they get a call, they go to a house and they meet my character Tika who's got a wand, which is the most dangerous weapon in the whole world. And then it's just this chase, keeping the wand away from the orcs, away from the orc gang and the human gang and the corrupt cops and the, the dark elves. And it's just like this exciting night of action. And it's so David Ayer. Like it's yeah. written all over it. It's amazing how he's put his, you know, the mystical world into it as well. The, the fantasy, if you will, on top of this cop drama. Yeah. It's extraordinary. He's a creative genius. He really is. And it's like he had complete creative freedom with the film to mm. tell the story he wanted to tell. And I think that he's just nailed it. <laughs> yeah. What was your first impression of Tika? What did you want to, to, I guess, bring out in her when you started playing her? Well, to be honest, it was more like Tika was something that I got to know. Like mm. I, through the audition process, it wasn't like I had to create her. It was like I slowly was like, oh, this is who you are. Okay. Oh, this is who you are. And just got to know her more. And and then it sort of got to the point where it was like I just had to clear out and let her move through me hmm. because she's such a powerful little fighter. And she's like, she's been part of this cult, this like elitist brainwashing kind of Illuminati cult. And she escapes from it because she realizes that there's more to the world and that there might be a way to fight for equality and for a mm. peace in this world and to be good. Like she's suddenly realizing maybe I, I could be good. Mm. And, and so she's sort of having this crisis of identity and going on that journey with her taught me so much about myself and it really transformed my life because she took me into like these dark places mm. and was like, okay, Lucy, you're going to have to look at this. You're going to have to stand what you see. And from there, you can create change in yourself or in your relationships. And yeah, she's completely changed, changed me. Hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, the metaphor for the, the, the film really speaks to the problems of today yeah. deeply with, with, I mean, mistrust between people and the cultures of LA, really. Yeah. Did you, you know, when you're playing into something like that that has the, you know, two levels basically, did you did you feel that? I mean, because the, the street the street scenes are really gritty. Yeah, it's really intense. And I just I felt so lucky to be part of a film that's telling a really important story for mm. the times happening right now and telling it in a way that's so entertaining. It's like this action packed, thrilling movie, but with real heart to it and a real reason to be told mm. right now. And I just felt so lucky to be to be a part of that because it's, yeah, it's so important and I just felt so lucky to be in it. And there's nothing like it on Netflix, let alone anywhere else on TV, yeah, which there's says nothing, a lot. There's nothing like it in the world. Yeah. Like David's really created something that, that's never been seen before. What was it like playing with Will and Joel? Because I'm sure it was tough, but at the same time, it, they must be interesting to play with. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> extraordinary because I was, terrified. I was like, oh my God, it's Joel Edgerton, it's Will Smith, and I'm acting with him in every scene. What am I going to do? But then they're such great actors that then it's easy. It's like extraordinarily easy because you just go for the ride and, and they're so good that it makes it all just flow and they're so funny and you can just improvise and make things up. And David would always give me like something to play that, you know, because Tika's testing them out to see if she can trust them. And so then I would be like climbing something and looking at them or like dancing around them or like just sussing them out the whole time. And it was perfect because David would keep me separate from them at the start in pre-production so that I didn't really know them. And I had to like 
test them out and like f figure out how to get to know them and mm. like the whole time I was awestruck and like inspired by them and that was it was perfect because it was just like being on Tika's journey learning to um yeah learning to trust these amazing people did you I mean do you get to relax when you're playing with with actors like them or how how does that end up working out once you're deeper into the film or filming? Well, Tika's not very relaxed. No, she's not. <laughs> so it was kind of perfect because she's like having this crisis of identity. She's breaking down. She's like trying to run away from her sister, away from everything that she's known. She's trying to become good. And so, and she's like, it's like she's ripping herself away from everything and she's ripping away all of these like boxed brainwashing ideas and like, She's really stripping herself of all of the life that she's known. Mm. And so, yeah, she's freaking out the whole time. She's freaking out. And, but there's one scene at the end with, uh, with Will where um, I'm, we're like in this magic pool and it's like the whole movie's happened. We've been like running and then Will Smith was like holding me and I'm like in the pool and I'm holding the wand and he's like, um, like we were finally talking for the like first time I get to just chill and he was like, Lucy Fry, relax. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Will Smith. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you, did you find that playing someone who you've got to be a bit uptight for, does that, does that bleed off into when you're offset too? Or how do you, how do you manage that? Well, to be honest, I kind of ended up just being Tika for four months because wow. She was so immersive and, and, you know, she was like, Tika, I like kind of got this relationship with her where I'd be like, okay, we have to figure this out because she was like a strong little woman. And I was like, okay, we're sharing this body. Like, let's, let's be nice. <laughs> but she would kind of just take over all the time. And then I would be like, oh, well, I guess I'm just sort of Tika. And I, I would try to have like a ritual at the end of the day to like put her away. Right. But she would just like come out and be like, she, she's crazy. She's wild. She's got so much energy. And, but because, you know, she's so energizing, I never got tired because you know, she's just like running around downtown LA in the rain all night and like flipping and dancing. And I was just like, okay, let's just go for this. And did you do any of that action stuff? Because I know often you can't, obviously. But yeah. did you get much chance in this? I got to do a bit of it. Yeah. I mean, I learned karate for it. I you got, did? Yeah. Oh, wow. I learned, um, I got my yellow belt before we started. By the end of it, I got my orange belt. Now I'm working towards my purple belt. Because I love amazing. it. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it, she's really Tika's taught me how to fight, like how to stand up for myself and like hold my space. And it's been amazing because that transformation of just learning how to fight physically, it, it, make, it gives you so much confidence. Hmm. Yeah. Would you do more action roles next? Like, I'd love to. Yeah. yeah, I would. That's amazing. So what comes next for you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's coming out and I've got a film called Highway that should be coming out sometime next year too. So I guess anything could happen now. You, yeah. you, you may have to see if there's... Well, I guess the question would be, would you do, I mean, have you done comedy yet? Would you think I'd love about to do comedy. comedy. I feel like Tika and Bright, you know, there's so much comedy in it. Like, right. you know, between Joel and Will and like Tika's got a lot of physical comedy. <laughs> right. So, you know, we'll see. Like I, that kind of gave me a taste of like the comic timing and learning from seeing Will and Joel together. I would love to do comedy. Joel definitely has some of the better he's lines. He's so funny. <laughs> oh my God, he's so funny. I found it so hard not to laugh while we were filming. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much.